What's good, Dunk fam? My name's Mason. Today, we're going to be spinning a wheel for a random team and then spinning another wheel and adding an NBA player to that team and seeing how they do in 2K. And the reason why I say uh, NBA player is because if we look here at my wheel, we have the greats, you know, we have some MJ, some LeBron, some Kobe, but then we also have Stephen A. Smith. We have King of the Fourth Quarter, Kenny Beecham. We even have guys like Shohei Otani and Abraham Lincoln, The Rock, and Kevin Hart. So it's going to be real interesting, but we're going to see if these guys can, uh, can, you know, help these teams win a title. So as you can see, some of the bad teams have a uh, X2 next to it. And that just means that uh, we're going to spin twice because these teams are really bad and not a single team, not a single player alone is going to help them win a championship. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what team we're getting. Uh, this is this is interesting. I don't even know what team I want to get. I'm a Cavs fan, so that would be cool, but I'm not down for whatever. Okay, we got the... Oh, give us the Pistons right off the gate. All right, we got the Pistons. So we're going to be adding two players automatically, and we could get a spin that, as you can see, there's a two spins. So... If we got that, then we would really get to spin three times. So let's see what our first player out of the two players is going to be. Looks like we're going to have Jack Harlow and Drewski. Welcome to the squad. All right. I like it. Let's go ahead and spin again for our second player. So we already have two guys. So this is pretty good. But let's, uh, let's see where our third player is. No way. And okay, whoo, I thought we were about to add Bronny and Bryce James, but we're about to add Nikola Jokic. So let's throw this team in 2K and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we got the roster put into 2K. Uh, it's just the current Pistons, but we added Nikola Jokic. This is just current Jokic, uh, 28 years old, 98 overall, you know, one of the greatest centers of all time already. You know who he is. And then we got Drew Drewski. Six foot two, 240 pound power forward slash small forward. When we got his buddy Jack Harlow, six foot, also six two, 195 pounds shooting guard or small forward slash shooting guard. So this team's strengths are definitely in its, uh, in its, in its big men. You know, we got, we got Drewski, we got Jokic, we got Harlow. Um, Obviously, we don't have a lot to go off of of Drewski's game, so he's a, he's a rebounding beast. He's got some good post moves. Harlow's kind of the same way because if you watched him play in the leagues, he just snagged a lot of rebounds and um, wasn't the greatest at much else, to be 100% honest. But this team, there's no reason why they shouldn't be uh, favorites to win it all. So we're going to go ahead and simulate and uh, see what happens. I'll get back to you guys about the All-Star break. All right, so don't get me wrong. I knew we would be good. Did I think we'd be 51-3? and three? No, but uh, I did expect to be good. We haven't lost since November 27th, so uh, it's currently February, and it's the All-Star break. Um, so that's pretty insane. Let's look at some averages for our guys. All right, so Jokic is doing his thing. He's averaging 22, 9, and 8, almost a triple-double. Obviously, a little bit of a step back from what we're used to from the Joker, but he does have two other 90 overalls and Cade Cunningham on his team now, so I guess that's why. And then, wow, the big four is just cooking. K 20 game, Drewski 20 a game, Jack Harlow's right there at 19. Harlow 13 boards and Drewski 11 boards. I think that's why the team is so good. Harlow's also averaging 11 assists somehow, so he's just diming everybody up. Harlow's just kind of the new Jokic, I guess. The six foot two Jokic on a one year, $101 million deal. Uh, yeah, looks like Drewski's holding the team down defensively with two blocks a game and a steal a game. Uh, yeah, so the team obviously looks very good. It looks like Drewski, Jokic, and Harlow were all all-stars. Uh, the East won by one, by the way, so shout out our guys for representing. Giannis kind of put the team on his back, though. Sheesh, guys. I don't know if we needed to let a division rival carry us like that, but whatever. Drewski had a really good game. Uh, Jokic, whatever. I don't think he cares about the all-star game. And Harlow was just... He only played 11 minutes a game, so he was uh, probably the last guy, or maybe Dame was the last guy selected for the All-Star game. But regardless, a successful All-Star weekend for the guys. All right, so let's simulate the rest of the season and uh, get to the playoffs. Okay, so the season's over. Let's look at the awards, see if we got in. Drewski, Rookie of the Year, averaging 21, 11, 7, 1, and 2 on nearly 50, 90, 40, almost. I don't know why the free throws is a second. It should be 50, 40, 90, but uh, almost there. Josh Hart, six man of the year. Drewski, defensive player of the year as well. Okay, Drewski. Also, the, the player card looks just like him. That was, that, that was cracking me up. Monty Williams wins coach of the year, which is 
certainly something if you kept up with the NBA at all this year. There was definitely some harsh opinions on Monty Williams this season. Looks like Drewski and Jack Harlow both made first team All-NBA, which is crazy because they're only 92 and 95 overall. So, like, there's a, way better players in the league than these two. But, uh, hey, they made All-NBA first team, so uh, more power to them. Jokic, All-NBA second team. Quite the fall from MVP last year. Um, let's see, All-Defensive. Drewski up here, of course, because he won... Uh, Wow, Dry Carlo second team as well. Impressive. And all rookie first team, Drewski and Harlow, of course, with Wemby and Chet. What a rookie class, huh? Easily the greatest ever. But uh, let's get to the playoffs. We ended up losing um, another three games at the end of the year, so we didn't have quite as good of a uh, sec- uh, post-All-Star break as we did pre-All-Star break. But still, the greatest team of all time. Uh, only six losses. So let's uh, – the Bulls – the Bulls don't scare us. We're just going to simulate that whole round. Oh, my gosh. They won game one. Okay. We got the whole thing. So now we have the Cavs. And if we look, the Cavs are uh, notoriously really good on 2K. But look at us. We're just better uh, at almost every position. The only position we're losing at is shooting guard. So we should be good here. Uh, we'll go ahead and just simulate the first game. We win. Simulate the second game. We win again. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We're up 3-0. Now we got the New York Knicks. Uh, Stephen A. Smith would probably pick the New York Knicks to beat us and tell us that Jalen Brunson is the greatest point guard of all time. But he's not on here, so we're good. Let's go ahead and see if they made any changes. They did not make any changes, but there's no injuries, so they're completely healthy. They got a pretty stacked squad. Jalen Brunson, DiVincenzo, OG, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson. Of course, though, we all know we're better. So let's go ahead and simulate... We win game one, we win game two, we win game three, and we win game four. So, Shea, Western Conference Finals MVP, who got it for us? Drewski, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. All right, so it looks like we got the Thunder in the finals, which also a very stacked team. They make any change. Wow, they got DeMar DeRozan. Looks like they traded Jalen Williams for DeMar DeRozan. Oh, no, Jalen Williams is right there. What am I saying? Um... Who did they trade? Let's let's go look at this. Let's go look at who they traded. Uh, where are the Thunder at? So they have Shea, they have Jim Williams, they have Chet Holmgren, they have DeMar DeRozan. Did they just trade a bunch of picks for him? They still have Josh Giddy. They still have Lou Dort. Still have Casey Wallace. Who did they? Uh... Let's go look at the Bulls and figure it out. So let's figure out who uh, who they traded for DeMar DeRozan. Because now I'm curious. So Bulls, it looks like. Oh, wow. Just a first-round pick, and maybe Gordon Hayward, I'm guessing that is at the end. I don't know. Why it won't let me see it bigger than that. But, yeah, so that's a good team right there. We we, we could get beat by this team. I do obviously think we're better. Um, but this should be a good series. So let's go ahead and simulate game one. We win. Simulate game two. We win. Simulate game. Okay. Thunder bounce back. Uh, Simulate the next game, and we're up 3-1, baby. Let's uh, let's simulate with SimCast. Pistons out to a massive lead already in the first quarter. Thunder bounced back a little in the second, but not enough. And we have a huge third quarter as well. It looks like this one is more than over, ladies and gentlemen. Drewski and Jack Harlow are about to be NBA champions. And just like that... They are NBA champions. Finals MVP is Drewski. Better than Nikola Jokic. Three-time MVP Nikola Jokic. That's crazy. Shout out, uh, shout out Drewski, man. Let's uh, let's check out how other guys did. Jokic in a closeout game seven or game in a closeout game seven. In a closeout game five, drops 45 and seven. Jack Harlow with 37 and 10 of his own, and Drewski with a triple double. Wow guys were just elite they were we just happened to find the greatest trio of all time of course one of them's a rapper and one's a comedian and the other one doesn't even like basketball either but wow what a what a season for the guys let's look at some playoff statistics see uh see how the guys did overall so it looks like Cade actually played the most minutes per game for some reason at 34 minutes a game but Jokic led us in scoring with typical Jokic numbers Drewski was second in scoring Jack Harlow averaged a triple-double in the playoffs just like he did in the regular season. So, yeah, congrats to the Pistons. If you guys want to win the finals, apparently all you have to do is sign Drewski, Jack Harlow, and uh, somehow acquire Nikola Jokic. The last one, you know, a little harder than the other two. But, yeah, Pistons GM, if you uh, want a ring, just give me a call, man. I'm available. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching, and let me know what if you want any players added to the wheel for when we do this again, and uh, let's have some fun with this. You know, let's make this a series. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next episode below. Peace.